Good morning, Home Base Nation, and welcome back for another workout of the day. My name is Brett Thompson, and I'm an exercise physiologist at Home Base, which is a partnership of Massachusetts General Hospital and the Boston Red Sox Foundation. So today's workout is just going to be focused on core and the abs. So I'm going to show you a quick core circuit. Uh, it's going to consist of eight total movements, but I'm just going to run through them one after the other because it's a it's a nice flow throughout uh, this workout. It's going to be seven working exercises, and then you're going to buy out with a 30 second to a minute plank. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get after it today. All right, Warriors. So like I said, today's workout is just going to be a simple core circuit, uh, focusing a lot on the abs. There will be some hip flexor uh, activation as well. Um, like I said, the workout's going to consist of eight movements. The eighth one is going to be your buyout. It's going to be a 30 second to a minute long plank. Whereas all the other exercises, the other seven, are going to range from 12 to 16 reps each. There may be a little discrepancy there between bilateral and unilateral movements or movements using both sides of the body and one side of the body at a time. So I will tell you that, but we're just gonna run through all these real quick because it's a nice transition from the first all the way to the last. All right, so I got my handy mat here. Keep my back and my butt nice and safe. Make sure I don't hurt my tailbone at all. Now quickly, the higher your hands are, the harder the exercise is going to be. And I'll show you. So in a supine position here, my hands are low near my butt. That's going to be the easiest position because I'm able to brace myself with my hands. Whereas if I put my hands on my chest, it'll be a little harder. Behind the head, even harder. And then finally, with my arms extended above my head, that's going to be the hardest movement. All right, but I'm just going to show you the basic hands by my butt, flat on the ground. And the first movement I'm gonna start with is a straight leg raise. Remember, all these movements are gonna be ranged from 12 to 16 reps. I'm not gonna show you all the reps because I'll be out of breath, but I'm gonna transition from each exercise. All right, so first one, straight leg raise. I'm just gonna raise my legs off the ground a little bit. And from here, keeping my legs as straight as possible, I'm gonna raise them up right above me and then back down. I want to make sure that I don't come all the way back down to the ground. I want to keep that tension in my core throughout the entire movement. So here, straight leg raise, back down, nice slow and controlled, don't touch the ground, back to it. Now, from here, I'm going to go into a reverse crunch. So I'm just going to bend my knees. This is going to be the second movement after I perform that straight leg raise for 12 to 16 reps. So now I'm into my reverse crunch, and from here, I'm just gonna slowly bring my feet down to the floor. You can tap them, but I don't want you to rest. So tap, back up, and you know a typical crunch is bringing the upper body up, reverse crunch, bring the lower body up. Crunch, back down, slow and control. Crunch, slow and control. 12 to 16 reps there. Then moving from there, I'm straightening my legs back out again, about two to three inches off the ground, making sure I'm keeping my core tight, and I'm gonna perform sweeps. That's what I call them, I, there's probably a technical term, but I call them sweeps. So from here, I'm gonna go to one side, lift, sweep to the other side, lift. We're working a lot of obliques here. And since this is a unilateral movement or one side at a time, I'm gonna go 12 to 16 reps each side. So sped up, here, sweep. Sweep, sweep, 12 to 16 reps each side. From there, I'm gonna stop my sweeps, try and keep my legs still straight off the ground, and I'm gonna perform flutter kicks. You don't have to come too high, I don't want you bringing your legs all the way up here, and keep them nice and low. But we're fluttering, keeping that core tight, squeezing. 12 to 16 reps each leg here. Now from there, we're just gonna transition right from the flutter kicks, into the scissor kicks. So same starting position, and I'm just gonna cross one leg on top of the other. Like scissors. Keeping the legs straight, squeeze that core. 12 to 16 reps each way, each leg. From there, our seventh movement is gonna be kickouts. So I'm just gonna come up a little bit onto my butt. You can brace yourself here, or if you have better stability, come completely off the ground, but I'm gonna hold here, 
just to show you the, st the, the stable movement. And from here, I'm just kicking my legs out and coming up. Notice how my upper body tucks a little bit. I am performing some a, a bit of a crunch here with my upper body, bringing those knees nice and tight to my chest and straight up, not dropping those feet to the ground. So those were our seven movements, all ranging 12 to 16 reps. Eighth movement, final. It's just gonna be a plank, 30 seconds to a minute. Not gonna show you the whole time, but if you've never done a plank before, you can either do a high plank here, it's kind of a push-up position, making sure my body is as straight as possible and I'm squeezing my core. 30 seconds to a minute, or a little harder, drop down to my low plank on my forearms, make sure my arms are parallel, straight out, making sure my back is flat, and as flat as possible, squeezing 30 seconds to a minute for the plank. That's it. Now we're gonna try and run through this circuit, um, a total of three to four rounds. So after each round, feel free to stop, get some water, take a rest for about two minutes, and then go back into your second round. Trying to make it to at least three or four. I know you guys can do it. All right, hope you enjoyed the workout. Remember, if you have any questions about our health and wellness programs here at Home Base, feel free to reach out to us at homebase.org. Also, if you're looking for more videos, we have an entire library of videos, uh, upper body, lower body, total body workouts, including videos on uh, nutrition, mindfulness, and other wellness videos. Um, and that's all in our library at homebase.org slash operation health at home. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed the workout and remember to follow us on social media at Homebase Programs.